This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. F7, page 137, chapter 27, IAS40, Investment Properties. Investment properties are defined as property, be it land or buildings or part of buildings, held either as owner or finance lessee to earn rentals or for capital appreciation or for both, rather than simply for use in production of goods, supply of service or administrative purposes, or in the ordinary course of business held for sale. Recognition it should be when and only when there will be a probable inflow of economic benefits and it can be reliably measured and the cost can be reliably measured. Initial recognition should be at cost and cost includes purchase price and directly attributable expenses such as legal and architectural fees. For self-constructed investment properties the cost is the cost at the date when construction or development is complete. Subsequent expenditure should only be capitalised if it improves the likely future economic inflow of resource. Otherwise, it should be expensed as a period cost. Measurement and transfers. Subsequent to initial recognition, the entity may choose the cost model, benchmark, or the fair value model, the allowed alternative. The cost model, carry at fair value based on market state and circumstances. Resulting gains and losses included within the Statement of Comprehensive Income for the year. Assets should be transferred into or out of investment property when there is a change in use. For example, owner occupation. It moves from investment property into TNCA, tangible non-current assets. With development, with a view to sell, the investment property then moves over to inventory. The end of owner occupation transfer out of TNCA into investment property. The start of an operating lease moving out of inventory into investment property. And end of construction or development assets in the course of construction would then move to investment property. The disclosure movements during the year the criteria used to distinguish owner-occupied from investment property where the classification isn't clear and the methods and assumptions used in determining fair value. Also disclose the extent to which fair value has been determined by an outside expert. A statement of comprehensive income elements of rental income and operating expenses incurred on the investment property. There should also be disclosed whether there are any restrictions on realizability or remittance of disposal proceeds or income. Any material contractual obligations to purchase, construct or maintain investment properties should be disclosed, as should also the depreciation methods and the useful lives when using the cost model. If the fair value model is being used, but it's not possible to establish fair value of particular investment properties, then there should be a description an explanation of why fair value cannot be reliably measured. If possible, we need to disclose a range of estimates. And the fact that of a disposal, the carrying amount and gain or loss on a disposal not carried at fair value.